Hey, how you doing? Today's video is going to be really interesting because instead of the usual, I'm talking about some kind of topic and it might be HDR related today, I'm just going to talk about HDR. There's a video where I was doing HDR in Celasta and all of a sudden I started rambling about HDR in the video twice. And so what I did is I took those sections out and I'm going to put them here for your viewing pleasure because they are relevant, but they talk about HLG and PQ. And I want to get that out there, but I don't want it in that video where it doesn't make any sense. So here's that part of the video for you. So we're talking about benefits here. With SDR, you can raise the backlight brightness of your TV to make everything brighter. And it still looks correct. Everything looks correct for SDR. But you can't do that with HDR unless you're in the HLG mode. And typically people are not in the HLG mode. When they're in the HLG mode, it allows you to actually be backwards compatible with SDR. You can take an HLG HDR video and play it in SDR and it should look just fine for the most part because it's already set up to be tone map correctly i don't exactly know how that works but this is some technology that the bbc made for that purpose so that they could have one broadcast that's in hdr but then you could view it in sdr and be just fine that way you don't have to have two different broadcasts and it allows cable companies and other people to put more data over the line or more channels essentially over the line without having to double up on certain things so as far as i know hlg uses similar gamma curves as sdr and that's why you can raise the brightness of your tv in hlg mode and it still looks really good like hdr pq is what we're using here and what most people use for hdr which means there are fixed settings for the values and you're going to be in those settings the thing is the SDR range tracks darker in PQ mode for HDR than it does in the SDR mode. So in SDR, SDR range is brighter than in HDR where SDR range is a lot darker. And that's because of the PQ curve where it, it's a gamma curve where uh, it has to have this fixed set of here's the darkest and here's the brightest and I'm going to scale my gamma for that amount of lighting and brightness it ends up being darker and that's why people think it's not as nice now with pq mode you do get as far as i know brighter brights than hlg mode you'll get a lot brighter brights because it has more to work with you're you're making sdr darker so that you get more contrast with the hdr and i say the hdr but really anything over sdr the problem is that then your sdr looks much darker and it's kind of hard to see and this is most apparent for me on an oled where unless i'm playing in the dark the sdr content or the sdr part of the screen now if you use pq on your tv and you have dynamic tone mapping enabled then it will brighten all the dark scenes and you will get brighter in sdr you will get the brighter sdr range stuff in hdr but only if there are not bright lights on the scene if his armor here is reflecting at the peak brightness of my display then the auto the dynamic tone mapper might not be bringing up all the sdr values but it might i don't know you should, really shouldn't use dynamic tone mapping when playing games because it's not going to look good unless the game is designed at 10k nits and then it's requiring you to have your tone mapper on and that really sucks i just wouldn't want to play those games like that or you could load up special k and then you don't have that problem but if you're on a console i mean you're gonna to have to constantly be changing your tv's dynamic tone mapper setting for the console because Certain games do and certain games don't require the dynamic tone mapper of your TV. That's mainly because they had Samsung displays instead of LG displays. That's my guess, at least. Because LG allows you to turn off the tone mapper completely. Samsung does not. Even on their latest sets, they don't let you turn it off. And so they do some really weird stuff because of it. Now, if we had brighter displays... So I had something I was going to say here. It's in my notes, but I really don't know. I don't want to say, like, I 100% agree. But I think HLG mode would look better if you had a brighter display. Because it has more to work with. But I'm not sure. It's actually the problem with PQ is it's a fixed brightness level. So on anybody's display it will always be the same brightness. If it's in daytime, nighttime, whatever, it doesn't take into effect ambient lighting. It wants to use your TV's full range and it will always display exactly the same. Something with SDR is during the day you could have it brighter and during the evening you can have it darker. And same with HLG, you could have it brighter during the day and darker during the evening. So that way you can get the full HDR effect depending on your ambient lighting. But PQ does not care about ambient lighting. It is literally using your panel's entire display capabilities and you have to watch in the dark. Otherwise you don't get the correct settings because it's designed to be viewed in the dark. It is 100% fixed. Here's what your panel is capable of regardless of what's outside being lit on your to your screen. So there are some definite problems there, but we don't use HLG. Most people use 
PQ, and that's a to me that's an issue. But I also don't know the difference. I don't know the quality differences. Maybe PQ just looks better, and that's why you do it. I mean, I normally watch stuff in the dark, so it's for me PQ looks okay, right? But if I watch stuff in the daytime, I definitely prefer HLG. It just is going to look better overall, in my opinion, because it can scale better with the brightness of the ambient lighting. Now, something interesting is that uh, Special K, like I was saying before, doesn't support proper engine level HDR in DirectX 12, and so you're going to get an auto HDR effect. But I still think it's better than auto HDR. And then DirectX 10 and 11, it does support it. And this is a DirectX 11 game. And that's why you get all this extra stuff with the perceptual boost. Man, I was rambling about that, but it does, probably doesn't sound like rambling because by the time you're hearing it, you're hearing it in its own video. Whereas when I originally did it, it was in a different video where it definitely didn't make any sense in that video. It's, the context was really bad. I hope you got some information out of my rambling about HDR. If you want to find out more, click on my other videos. If you want to keep up to date with what I'm doing, go ahead and subscribe. And if you liked what you saw, then like the video because I'll make more stuff like that. You can catch me on Twitter at Sautados. And that's about it. All right, thank you very much for watching. Hope you had a great time. Bye.